Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're filming a bit of a different video. I've never really like filmed one like this before, but I haven't filmed like a food video in a while. And I've been watching a lot of these, like while I've been in isolation, just for getting like inspiration and stuff. I'm sort of like how to keep healthy, just like interesting different meals to be making because now I've got so much time like to cook. I want to get more into it and like cook more interesting things. So what I'm making for breakfast really isn't very interesting, but yeah, I'm gonna do what I eat in a day in isolation. And it's a bit healthier than what I would normally eat at uni just because I'm not getting the active if you like watch my last video you'll see that I'm not really getting much as much activity as normal so I'm not getting to like walk to uni every day which would be sometimes like an hour and 20 minutes if I do it twice in and out so yeah I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier just because I'm not as active as I would normally be so this morning I did a half an hour sort of hit workout full body hit workout so I'll just show you that so we did just a couple exercises it was like 45 seconds off, 15 seconds off. So we had shoulder taps and toe taps to start with. And then we had lunges and four star four lunges, four star jumps. Then we have full mountain climbers and four hip dips. Four jump squats touching the floor and then four pulse squats, four toe touches for the abs, and then four crunches. And we repeat that five times. And usually we do like six or seven exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. But I can tell you that actually killed me, that one. That was like really intense, I feel like. So that's definitely a good workout I'd recommend. Let me just have a finisher. I did the bad guy finisher that we do sometimes. And then I went on my walk. Oh, I'm nice and dead from that nice little hit workout. Some technical difficulties with the um, Instagram live story, they disabled it for cheer for some reason. I think it's because we've been using loads of copyrighted music in the stories. But yeah, thank you Catherine for that, my cheer baby. I'm just about to go on my daily walk, which is like just under half a mile, just over half a mile. And then I'll be getting my breakfast. So I'm back from my walk. I'm ready for my breakfast. I usually have my breakfast before my shower because I can't wait because I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna make some porridge, which is literally what I have pretty much every morning. I always crave it. And usually I don't weigh it out. I don't count my calories because I feel like for me, that would be unhealthy. I know for some people it works, but just for me, it just would mess me up. Counting the calories just stresses me out more than it, sh it needs to. So I sort of know how many calories are in stuff and I can sort of like calculate in my head roughly, which works well enough for me. So I'm gonna count them today though, just for like the video purposes so you can sort of see how many calories I would usually be having in a day and what these sort of meals are calorie wise. So starting off with porridge, which is literally my favorite thing to have for breakfast. So we have our porridge oats which i always get the just like everyday essential ones from aldi when i have it at uni but we've just got these ones from our shop okay so without the milk it's 150 calories for a 40 gram serving so we're gonna weigh it out and see how much i'd usually have because i usually just like eyeball it right that's 50 grams so if you put that into this bowl that's probably how much i usually have so can you see how much that is that's 50 grams so work that out if 40 grams is 150 calories so that's 187 calories worth of oats so for the unlock 100 mils is 13 calories which is so good i use the unsweetened one but if you use sweetened i've used sweetened before in this and it tastes it does taste really nice because it's obviously like a bit more sugary yeah so i don't add any sweeteners or anything to it i literally have unsweetened almond milk and the banana is enough but you can literally add like honey or agave nectar or maple syrup a lot of my friends usually do that so it's saying 100 mils it's 13 calories so let's see if that's enough now nah, we're gonna have to go with another 100 i'd say so it would be 26 calories okay so that's probably a bit more milk than i'd actually normally do but we can just cook it for longer um, at least we know exactly how many calories we've got in there just about that in there cook it for two and a half minutes So we'll take that out and the bowl is always so hot. That looks really good. So I like my porridge really stodgy. This is like perfect to me. I just put it in for an extra 10 seconds. One more because there's a bit more milk. And then we're gonna add our banana, which is about 131 calories, it said. Okay, so, so far we're on 344 calories for our breakfast. But yeah, as I said, I literally don't count my calories. I never 
know how many calories I eat in a day. So today will be an interesting experiment to see how many I usually eat in a day. I'll obviously be counting all my drinks as well. I don't know how many calories I burned on my workout though, so I might have a quick look at like how many calories on average you burn on a HIIT workout and then I can add that in as well. So that is our banana down. So usually at uni that is exactly how I'd have it, um, but when I'm at home I have the luxury of chia seeds and cinnamon. So we're gonna add some chia seeds and cinnamon. I don't know how many calories are in chia seeds, but I'm assuming it's really not much and I literally just do a sprinkle. But that's literally just to get the goodness that they provide, the vitamins or whatever that they provide. Some cinnamon for flavor and it's got no details of calories on it. So I'm assuming it is literally no calories because it's a spice. So that is our porridge for this morning. Very healthy and it's really filling as well. So it's me going through to lunch. And then I also have a glass of orange juice with my breakfast every morning. So it says per 150 ml serving is 62 calories. So I probably will have that much. Our total calories for breakfast are 406.5. So we're gonna enjoy this. Okay, so this is what a 150ml serving of orange juice looks like. So yeah, we're just gonna sit and eat this while I watch some YouTube. Yeah, I'll catch up with you after I'm done. I forgot to say, it's 20 past 11, which is actually quite late for me to be eating breakfast, but it's just because the workout was at 10 this morning, so I like to do my workout before, because otherwise when I eat, before I do my workout, it's actually disgusting. Like, I can feel it all jiggling about inside of me. So I'm gonna finish this, and then I will catch up with you when I'm eating something else. Okay, so it is now about 12, it's 11.58, so I'm gonna have a coffee while I start my work on my essays and stuff. So I'm gonna have one of the Nescafe Gold Unsweetened Cappuccino Sachets. Sachets. I have just moved to unsweetened because literally it was a mistake because there was none left of the, like, the normal ones. They obviously don't taste like just as nice as the normal ones do because I have quite a sweet tooth, so I like sugar. But they are good enough and I'm guessing they're obviously lower in sugar and better for you and they are 55 calories so I think that's quite good for a coffee. The only issue with these sachets is that they don't like stir in as well as the normal sachets do. I don't know what it is but they have like more clumps in them when you try and stir them in but you know you just get over it. It's just really grim when you're like drinking it and then you get this like bit of powder. Mm, I yeah, I really recommend these if you don't have like a coffee machine or a milk for at home. They're honestly so good. Like they literally just taste like a normal cappuccino, as you would expect. So that is our coffee, nice and frothy, and I will catch up with you when I'm having some lunch. Okay, so it is now two. Just gone to five past two, so we're gonna make some lunch. It's actually quite late for me, usually I'd be more like one, but I ate breakfast quite late, and as I said, probably just fill you up. And also coffee's like a hunger suppressor or something like that, so I think that's why I'm not, wasn't that hungry. So we're literally gonna have something that is a classic for me for lunch. So we're having a smoked salmon and cream cheese and cucumber bagel with some sun bites. I never have this at uni because I can't afford the bagels and the smoked salmon, but when I come home, I literally always have this as a meal for lunch because I think it's actually quite filling. Like the bagel is actually quite filling. The smoked salmon is really filling because it's quite like fatty. And obviously the cream cheese has got quite a bit of fat in it as well. So I'm going to go toast my bagel because I don't get how people have bagels not toasted. And then I will put all of it together. <laughs> also, look how gorgeous that is. <laughs> the cut of the bagel. I'm very impressed with that. <laughs> So we have finished making the bagel, which I've just added up to be around 338 calories. I'll put all the individual bits on the screen. And then our crisps, we have some sun bites, which are sun-dried tomato and mozzarella flavor. Um, each pack is 118 calories, but you can see like they're not actually that healthy in terms of like the fats and the individual saturated sugars and salt. It's quite high in fat, but these are just really nice and they're not like too big of a pack. So if we add the 118, 456 calories, 
total for our lunch. Okay, so now that's all made, I'm gonna go enjoy lunch out in the garden, in the front garden, because I just wanna get some sun and some vitamin D from the actual sun itself. And also I'm gonna be drinking water as my drink. And that's another really important part of what I eat in a day. I literally fill this bottle up so many times, just trying to keep hydrated, to keep me healthy. And obviously just cause it's like hotter now in the summer. It's 22 degrees today, so gonna be nice to sit out in the sun. I don't know exactly how much, but this is quite a big bottle and I always have a lot of it. So mm, let's go eat my lunch. It is so nice and sunny. Yay, let's dig in. Okay, so I've just come in from eating my lunch. It is 10 past three. I'm about to have, it's sort of like a dessert snack, but I'm just gonna have some apple. I've cut it up while I carry on with my essay. And then hopefully I'll be full until dinner tonight. So for one bro burn apple, it said it was, no, for 100 grams of bro burn apple, it said it was 55 calories. So I weighed the apple and it was about 185 calories. So this comes to about 102 calories. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat this now. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients ready to make dinner. It is now 5.46, so I'm going to start cooking so that we have dinner on time. Because I'm going to make, just make everything quite chill, simple. I want to like cut everything up, have it ready to go, so I can just put it straight on and get everything ready at the right time. We're making chicken and red kidney bean burrito bowls tonight, so I'm very excited. I've worked out all the calories, so I can put them all on the screen when I add everything like into the mix and whatever. It's around 502 calories, I think it was, something like that, for our dinner tonight. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. We've got our chicken, which I'm gonna cook all of it today because it's due to be eaten up today, but I'm only gonna use half. So that's two breasts between the three of us because we've got the red kidney beans, which has three portions in a tin. Then I've got some shallots, which are gonna go in with the chicken and also the salsa, which I'll be making with the tomatoes and the mixed herbs and all the seasonings, so salt and black pepper. Got avocado, which I'm gonna season with salt and pepper and my peri peri salt again and then the fajita spice which we're going to season with the chicken and the lemon which might go into the salsa but definitely into the avocado peppers which are going to go in and some long grain rice which is two servings but we're gonna use it for all three of us as well so yeah that is what we're gonna make for dinner tonight i'm gonna start making the salsa and then making the kind of like guacamole-ish kind of avocado and then I'll start chopping up everything and we'll just get everything ready to go. Okay, so we have all the components ready to go. So we've got the chicken, we've got the peppers, we've got the avocado, the salsa, and then I'm gonna add some of these in with the peppers. Um, we've got the spice mix ready to go, the rice ready to go in the microwave, and the beans are ready to be boiled in the hob. So let's get cooking. It smells so good, we're starting to get there. I'm so buzzing. And half of the chicken out, so we've got this ready for the bowls. We've got the beans just being heated up there. Um, got our rice ready to go, so we're about to assemble. Right, so we have our finished burrito bowls. So we've got the chicken and the peppers and the shallots, the red kidney beans, the avocado, the salsa, and the rice in the middle. I'm very excited, gonna eat this while I watch some YouTube. Okay, so I have finished dinner, that was so nice. It is now eight, literally exactly eight. So I'm having my call with the gals in half an hour, which I'm very excited for. So for dessert, I'm having some strawberries and grapes and stuff, and then I'm gonna have it with some melted Bourville. How However, I was melting it in the microwave and then I noticed something was like smelling weird and I heard like a, like a bzzz. So I looked and there was this tiny little like flicker and basically we're gonna have to order a new microwave because it smells like burning and it's obviously, I think it's like the actual inside of the microwave has like come apart. So that's not the best. I'm now gonna have to boiling some water and then I'm gonna melt the chocolate over um, a bain marie. So I'm gonna have that for my dessert. I'm gonna add up the calories for the fruit, but I think it's 240 calories. Well, 232 calories for the chocolate. So that means that I have had around 1,800 calories today. So that's sort of like where I wanna be calorie wise. Obviously, I still think this was a really healthy day. Like. I guess maybe for dinner I could have had fewer calories. I'm not really sure. I guess if I don't have like orange juice or if, tomorrow if I have um, cereal it might be lower in calories. But I don't really think it's the calories that matter. I think it's more like the nutrition that you're getting from everything and like the fats and the sugars and that sort of stuff that you're eating. Yeah, so I'm just gonna melt this and then I'll see you when I get that. 
Okay, so this is our setup. Very excited. Gonna watch some YouTube while I eat this. Try a little bit on camera for you. Just do a little grape. I literally love grapes and chocolate. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, that really hits the spot. So, I'm gonna finish eating this. And that'll be all of the food that I eat for the day. I am gonna have a cheeky glass of wine, I think, later. Maybe... Two. I'm just not gonna add that to the calorie count because it's not what I would usually have in a day I mean you can look up what the calories are in wine. It's really bad for you I might not even have wine. I might have like a cocktail or something. It's just doing a quiz with the home girls So yeah, I'm gonna have that when I face them later. Okay, so I have just my wine I've got ice in it because it was in the fridge. Rude. Ready for a quiz, um, which is pretty much now, but I'm just being a bit late. Basically, my whole total for the day was 1,794 calories. Obviously, then plus the wine will probably be a lot more. But I feel like today's actually been really representative. So instead of filming tomorrow, I feel like I'm just going to tell you guys other alternatives. Like usually for breakfast, I would pretty much always have porridge and orange juice. But on the odd occasion, if I don't have bananas, then I would have special K for breakfast, just with almond milk. I always have my cappuccino i've been having bagels literally so much for lunch i'll switch it up maybe with like having ham or something in it or maybe having a salad sometimes like a couscous salad tomorrow i might have the leftover chicken from tonight in a salad with some leftover veg that i made pasta with the other day if you watched my um day in the life vlog and then for dinner a lot of the time it's really varies just depends on what we have in the fridge so tomorrow i might have a weight watchers ready meal that's quite classic for me and they're usually around like 300 400 calories which is obviously really good but we just have to see what we have in the fridge we might have pork chops with rice or stir fry or a pasta i've had quite a lot of pasta i had a carbonara the other day i made that so yeah that is sort of the sort of things that i'll be having i do mix it up with like desserts i usually have like one sweet thing a day then try to have like a bit of fruit after my lunch as like a sweet thing and can i just say as well like this is me being really healthy so it's definitely like you're allowed to have cheat days like sunday or uh, it's easter sunday so i'm literally gonna have like hot cross bun for breakfast i'm probably not gonna do a workout on sunday I'm gonna have a roast dinner for my lunch and gonna just eat loads of easter eggs all day so definitely like good and fine to have cheat days because i think you'd go a bit like crazy if you didn't so yeah basically that is what i typically eat on a healthy day i could do another one on an unhealthy day if anyone would want to see that but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video it's a little bit different to normal a little bit more chill and yeah i'll see you really soon with a new video bye